FileMaker Incorporated has been adding features over the years to help beginners work with FileMaker more easily. And they may just have done it this time in FileMaker 17 with the combination of the Create New Dialog, which you see in front of you, Starter Files, which are right here, and Add-on Tables. Now, most of the stuff was already there. The Add-on Tables is the new feature that really brings it all together and makes it easy for beginners to work with FileMaker for the first time. I, that's what I really believe in this version. They've really hit the, you know, the nail on the head on this one. So you can always get back to the Create New dialog by choosing Create New here. And it'll bring this dialog up here, which has got a lot of stuff in it. But let's cover some of the basics. First of all, the default will be blank. And you'll notice over here that you have a help pane, which is really nice. If you switch to Convert, which is a new item, they've never really had a Convert option. They've had Open and you can Convert. But now they actually put it right there, right in front of your face. You can Convert Excel and other text file formats. There's a Learn section. Then you have the Starters. And then right below that, you have the Samples. Now you might see that there's a contacts here and a contacts there and some other duplicates. Well, the starter solutions are very basic, very simple for beginners. The sample solutions are much more sophisticated and you can use those and build on them, but they're much more complicated. We're going to concentrate on the starter solutions here because that's what this new feature set is all about. We want to go ahead and create this template, this starter solution called contacts, and we'll create it right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to add on to that some add-on tables. But let's start by entering in some data here. First thing I'll do is click into the photo field and insert my picture. Pretty easy stuff to do. It's built right in. We'll go in here and choose my title. Then we'll type in my name. We'll come down here and put my job title. Come over here, put my company in there and my website. You'll see as soon as we complete that, that there's a nice little web viewer down here. It'll, it'll show it for you. And everything's set to as you enlarge it to get bigger, which is great. So we've got this stuff entered in. You're thinking, now I've worked with it a little bit. You know, I've gone in here and I've entered in maybe, you know, my phone number. And maybe we went in here and did the email address too. And you've entered this stuff and maybe you've got some contacts in there and you want to add in some new stuff. Maybe there's some features in here that you need. Well, it's pretty easy to do now. We're going to go into layout mode, which is developer mode. And we're going to double click on this tab control. You can see in de uh, developer mode, we can switch to the different tabs on the tab control and see how to work with them. They're a little bit different. This is not data entry. This is moving things around like a drawing program. So I'm going to undo that if I make that change. I'm going to double click on this object, which is encapsulating all these other objects. Double click on it, come in here and add in a notes tab. Just create and it's that easy. Now you can see there's a notes tab and I can add to this. I'm going to use this portal tool. I'm going to draw a rectangle. And what's new on here is the new add-on table. It's really a great feature for beginners. Doesn't require you to know anything about relationships or tables or really even fields. So we'll choose that and you'll see quite a few choices here. Phone numbers, topics, all, all these things. We're going to look for the notes because that's what we're adding here. Gives you a little help over here about what it is. Hit choose. Call it notes. We'll just keep it with that name. And you see it's added it in. If we go back to browse mode, it's done just about everything you want. You come in here and you can add in test note one. And as soon as we do that, we get the place to put in our note two. And we can go for a third one. And then they have this handy dandy little button here because if you want to enter them now, you have to go down and scroll down. But if you just hit this plus button, it does it for you. So it's not, you know, the most sophisticated notes taking, but for somebody who's a beginner, this is perfect. It's all they need. It's got the portal, it's got the relationship and the button. So let's try another one. Here's something else people might have trouble adding, which is documents. So I'm going to draw in a little portal next to it. Go to a new add-on table. Find attachments, which that's what they're calling documents. There we go. And we can actually change the name here. I don't have to keep the name attachments. There we go. 
and we go back into browse mode and you can see there's a spot to add a file or a picture and a description same plus sign here and if you look in manage database this is where a developer would create these tables and fields that they're starting you'll see notes and documents we go into fields we'll see all the fields in there they've added all these things the container field and description all the relationships have been added here you can see notes and documents it did all this work for you in fact even inside the script workspace you'll see some stuff here so that's a lot of work that might be difficult for somebody who's just buying FileMaker and wants to get up and running real quick and then learn a little bit about it so let's try some more let's go into our tab control and double click on it very easy to do and we're gonna add in to do's this one's a little more sophisticated not much we'll get that tab get our portal tool you can see when you add this one through the add-on table and come down here and find our action items that's what they're calling it I'm gonna change it to to do's you can see it's got quite a bit more information in here it's also wider in fact you can see it didn't quite get inside here where I want it to be so I'm simply gonna move it over here that simple very easy to do and then we'll go on for one more this time we're gonna add on employees hit create click OK click on the employees tab get our portal tool draw it in there choose new add-on table and then what you want here in this case is people now people's quite sophisticated as we'll show you later on we'll hit choose I'm gonna call this employees instead and you'll see that it makes it pretty small and it's a little off so I'm gonna select those and move them up so it's on there and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the portal right here and make it wider what I want to have in here is the phone number so I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate it so that field's now been duplicated and you'll see that inside this employees field list right we have already the phone number there's actually quite a few things in there I'm just gonna add the phone but it, they make some fields for you that you think you might need and it you know, really is handy for somebody who doesn't want to ever enter into managed database so we do the phone and there's a few things we want to change about it when we duplicate that there is some placeholder text in there so I'm gonna change that to phone and that placeholder text shows inside the field so you know what to enter into that field and then there's a tooltip which when you hover over it is going to show what that contents is so we put the phone number in there we'll drag this make this a little bit bigger and with just a little bit work it's not perfect we've got now the ability to track all these people so you'll see in here if we go over to employees see how the phones in there that's the placeholder and then the hover over is right there so let's see what it did for us and by doing that we really first should come over here and try to click into here but you see we can't click into these so I'm gonna hit this plus button it works a little bit differently it shows you a list of all your employees there are none right now so I'm gonna hit the plus sign and type in Ida Osborne and put in her name her email address there we go add that person and they're right in there so what it's done is it's made a whole bunch of layouts for you. You can see them right here. Notice that it didn't make that for notes or to-dos or documents. It did it for these, and you can see there's an employee layout, like you have with your contacts that came with the starter. So if we go over to employee details, we'll see that we have Ida Osborne in there. We'll see we can go to a list view and look at all the people. There's only one right now. And if you go back into developer mode, into layout mode, you'll see there's actually some hidden ones. There's the chooser and there's also the add which we would add the phone number in here so you could add that phone number right away and you have some other few uh, layouts here so assignments this is just really the join table in fact when you look in manage database this is why this one's so much more complicated you wanna you know maybe not your first attempt at adding in an add-on table would be you know the people one but you can see how to do's is connected directly up to contacts same with notes and documents they're directly connected but in the case of people there's two tables here so it's a little more complicated it's called a join table you learn about those later but it's much more sophisticated so that's what this table represents is the join here 
So let's go back to our contacts. In fact, we're in our contacts details. And one of the things that FileMaker does with all starter solutions and with add-on tables is it uses this new universal touch theme. The idea behind it is to have a neutral color palette so you can make it your own. It also combines a bunch of different styles into one so you can choose a lot of different choices. It's really a, a great starting point. So for instance, let's say you've got this made up, you know, you've got the starter solution, you go, you know, it's too gray and, and white for me. Let me put this bar up here. I'm going to make it a color. I'm going to go over here and show the fill colors and change it to a nice blue. Oh, that looks really great. You go into browse mode and you check it out and you go, I really like the way that works. That, that adds the color I need in there. You'll notice that when you go into your styles, which are right over here, that you'll see that the inverted one, which is that what that was based on, now is red and says you can save the changes to the current style. If you save them, every single rectangle you draw with the inverted style will be the same, so your interfaces will be consistent. So as this builds up over the years, as you add on feature here, feature there, you can keep that interface consistent by saving to the style. So it makes it really easy to work with. It's a great idea. Now the other thing about this universal touch is that it is also universal across all devices. Typically a developer makes a layout for Macintosh and Windows. Those can be combined. But then they make one for uh, iPhones, one for iPads, and one for WebDirect. The idea behind this is it may not be absolutely perfect, but this theme can work across all of these different types. And I've tried it out and it works pretty well. It'll actually work on an iPhone. It'll work on an iPad. It's pretty cool the way that works. So it makes things really easy for beginners and that's the idea behind these releases, these features that have been added on to FileMaker 17.